<sighs> Some good coffee. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado, and this is Torado Racing. So in today's video, by popular demand, I'm gonna go ahead and break down everything that I've got done to my Challenger. So when I polled, uh, what do you guys wanna see uh, in my YouTube videos? The most common response was, hey, I wanna see a breakdown of your car, and I wanna know everything that's done to the car. So I'm gonna do that today, and I'm gonna take it one step further and provide a link to all the parts in the description below. So there's no guesswork as to where I got it from. These are all the websites where I got my parts from. So without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the uh, car itself and the most obvious modification being the exterior of the vehicle. So the car did start its life out as a 2009 Dodge Challenger SRTA and I've kind of converted it to a wide body uh, Hellcat stack pack lookalike, uh, all with reason. So the front bumper and the wide body kit all came from bikerez.com and I did some install videos on that. So I'm not gonna get into depth with that. So I made some other videos and you can go on my channel and find those. Uh, the other uh, obvious appearance mod I did is the OEM Hellcat hood. Now I purchased this hood from Steve White Parts and they're located out of uh, North Carolina. And Steve White Parts, you might have seen them on some of the Facebook pages and some of the forums. He always posts out deals and some sales he does for the Mopar community. So he's a huge advocate in the community. Moving on to the rear of the vehicle, I have a 2015 style spoiler that I wrapped in carbon fiber, and I got that from eBay. So I'll put a link to one in the description below. And the wicker bill I got from MFR Engineering. So I met MFR Engineering out at We Are Mopar one year, and they have an amazing product. So I've been running their products on my car for a little while now. So the other small detail that's on the car is the rear uh, roof spoiler, and I got that from amazon.com. So again, I'll put a link in the description below. Moving on to the wheels and the tires, staying with the exterior of the vehicle. I have uh, opted in for the OEM Dodge Demon wheels. Now these were not easy to come by and I knew they were gonna be extremely difficult to find. And I actually found them on eBay. Now, there's not a seller that constantly has them. They kind of just pop up and they disappear like the next day. So I found them closer to the end of the year last year and I just jumped on them and I bought them. Uh, just so I could have them because I knew I was going to wide body the car. So sadly, I don't have a link for that in the description below. You're just going to have to go on eBay and search like, you know, OEM Dodge Demon Wheels, Dodge Demon Wheels 18 by 11 so you can find a set if uh, that's the look you're going for. So tires. So on the car right now, I have Nitto 555 uh, G2s. Uh, they're really good tire, uh, really good in the rain. And this is more of like my street tire setup. And I'm running the 315, uh, 4018 all the way around. So with this uh, size tire, I'm able to rotate the tires and not just have you know one set of tires in the front or in the back like with a staggered setup. So staying within the wheel area of uh, brakes. So the brakes on the car are actually the factory OEM Brembo brakes, but I did upgrade the rotors and pads to power stop track day rotors and pads. Now these uh, rotors and pads are known to be good on track and you know on the street, but since I got the car more of on a street version right now, I'm just running the factory rotors and pads. Uh, when I switch out to the track, I switch onto the uh, power stop setup. So the other thing that I have for the brakes is the StopTech uh, braided stainless steel hose line. Now this gives you a firmer brake pedal and it's a really simple mod to do. You can really do it in a day and then just bleed your brakes and you're good to go. Staying within the wheel tire area as well, I'm gonna go and dive into the suspension, which is another common question I get is what's my suspension setup? Now let me be clear, I'm still kind of working on this but I have a set of BC Racing coilovers, uh, BR coilovers. No custom valving, no custom spring rates yet. When I first bought these coilovers, I really just wanted to lower the car and look cool. So I had no intentions of doing this. Having coilovers was kind of a bonus when I started uh, racing the Challenger, but now as I'm developing the car more, I understand there's changes that need to be made. So BC Racing coilovers, BR type, uh, zero preload on all the springs, and no custom spring, rate, uh, spring rates and no custom valving. Uh, the other suspension component I have are Hotchkiss sway bars. So I upgraded to the Hotchkiss sway bar because they're a bigger uh, millimeter sway bar and I've only changed the front. So I haven't changed the rear yet because you've got to drop the entire rear out. But before I do that, I want to get some poly bushings and some you know trailing and control arms back there. Uh, so I don't have to drop the rear end once versus dropping it multiple times to do all this stuff. So that'll be in the future. And of course, I'll make some videos on that. All right guys, so my next favorite topic is the interior of the vehicle. It's always one of the most eye-catching things when people walk up at car shows or cars and coffee. And that's because of my uh, really bright Braum racing seats. So I have the Braum Racing Elite X Series seats in the British tan leatherette color. I really liked the contrast of the tan and the black interior on the orange car. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I first saw it on a wide body Hellcat and I really liked it. And that's where I got the idea from. 
So the Elite X Series seat bolts onto a planted seat, uh, planted seat technologies bracket. So it takes all the guesswork out of it. You just pull your old seats out, bolt the bracket onto the Bronx seat, and it goes straight into the car. I did make a video of it, and uh, you can go through my channel if you want to see how that's done. Uh, you might also notice the Braum Racing harnesses. Uh, they are the six point SFI harnesses in black, again, to keep the black and tan interior look going. And they are mounted to a Cypher Auto harness bar. Uh, again, I did a small video on that, on how to install it, really straightforward, less than a day modification. And my next favorite mod is, of course, the Dodge Rear Seat Delete. Now, it's not an OEM Demon Rear Seat Delete, it's missing that bracket that goes in the center for the Demon Roll Bar, um, but it is a Dodge Rear Seat Delete, so it's got the Dodge Stripes, you know, uh, stamped right there in the center, and it's got the little net where you would normally sit, for like a little cubby hole. So, really cool, love that. Took some weight off the car, looks sleek, looks clean. Moving on to the cockpit, the driver's seat. Uh, I have a three gauge pillar pod. Now, I got this three gauge pillar pod from Speed Logics a while ago now, and it's uh, wrapped in black, and you can get the matching wrapped uh, pillar for the uh, passenger side, but I opted out for that. So, I just got the regular driver's side uh, three gauge pillar pod. In the three gauge pillar pod, I got three gauges. I got the Autometer Hoonigan. Uh, series gauges. They look really cool. It's what Ken Block uses in his unicorn. And I have an uh, oil pressure, oil temperature, and a voltmeter. Now I know some Mopar guys are going to say like, why'd you do that? Like it's in your EVIC already. Uh, but the truth is when you're actually driving the car and you're racing and you can do a quick spot check, it's a lot easier to just move your eyes over and you can see where the needles are versus scrolling through your EVIC each time. Um, so just that small look over to the left, uh, you know, super easy and uh, make it nice and seamless. Plus they look bitch and I love it. All right, guys, last but not least, the heart of the beast, that 6.1 Hemi. I haven't made a lot of changes to it, and I've just made some changes to sort of uh, wake up the car a little more, but nothing that is so out of reach or so wild that it's gonna cost 10 grand. So the first thing I did, and all the Hemi gods, like, they know this is true, I put an oil catch can. Uh, I got a Billet Tech oil catch can, and as you can see in the video, I need to change the lines to the braided hose lines for a much cleaner look. Um, but it's been doing its job. I emptied out every oil change. Absolutely love it. Uh, when it comes to the intake side, I chose the LMI or Leg Maker Intakes Carbon Fiber Air Hammer Intake. And I just like how big it is. It draws in air and the carbon fiber looks really neat when you pop that hood. Some things you can't see are I have a Mishimoto power steering cooler, a Deco no slack belt tensioner, and a, De a Gates racing belt. And all that really to keep tension on that power steering unit with the bigger wheels and tires and that airflow going into the power steering cooler uh, keep everything nice and cool. So inside the Hemi now, uh, I have a custom grind crower cam from Inertia Motorsports. They're located here in uh, Austin, Texas. And I opted in for their uh, custom forged push rods. Another small thing I did was add uh, Hellcat lifters to this list. But other than that, it's a stock oil pump and stock pistons, nothing else is crazy. So now we got this Hemi breathing, you know, sucking up air, so we gotta get all that air out. So I ordered a set of JBA titanium ceramic coated long tube headers, and they were a absolute perfect fit. I haven't had issues with these headers, and I've had them since 2015, actually. And I have JBA catless mid pipes and a JBA stainless steel cat back. So I absolutely love this uh, exhaust system. I had a buddy jump in the car recently, and he was wondering how loud it was, if it was noisy, and I turned the car on, and he looked at me, and he's like, regular car? I'm like, regular car, man. Sounds good, sounds throaty. When you get on it, it really opens up. Well, guys, there you have it. That's everything I have done to my Challenger SRT8. Uh, get you up to speed on that. So, all these things I've done to the car. Uh, some of the changes I've recently made, if you've been following along with the wide body and the tires. Uh, I haven't been really able to test it out yet on autocross, so it's been kind of a bummer, but let's face it, we all gotta sacrifice some things, and it's okay because I'll eventually get out there. And as I get out there more and test the car more, more things are definitely going to change. So I will continue to keep posting videos. Um, I wanna do some more driving videos, track videos. I'll show you guys how everything you know works cohesively, works together. So until we get there, this is what I've got so far. Now I also know that there's a lot on this list, but I want you guys to know that I've been doing this car, for, I've been you know, working on this car since about 2016. So I got about four years of parts and you know, a bunch of stuff I've done to the car in there. Um, and as I continue to gear this car to be better at the Ultimate Street Car Series and be an ultimate apex predator out on track, uh, more things will change. And as I change those things, I'll keep you guys up to speed and let you know how things work out. 
So if you guys like this video and you feel like I provided you some value, like go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment below. If you have a question for me, uh, most of you know that you can reach out to me on my other social media platforms such as Instagram or Facebook. I always reply to you guys. And I prefer Instagram, uh, real quick, I prefer Instagram because I'm able to take my phone and take a video and really pinpoint stuff and send it to you. Uh, versus trying to, you can't really do that in the YouTube comments. But if it's something you think I can answer in the comments, like go ahead and ask me a question and I'll answer anything. Um, so if you guys like these videos you want to do, like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. So until next time, peace out.